energy sources like solar and wind are growing faster than ever and are predicted to dominate the conventional power grid. These sources are intermittent as we know because they only generate electricity when it's sunny or windy. Batteries will need to store energy on a big scale in order to make these intermittent energy sources a regular part of the grid without producing instability. Flow batteries are a promising technology for this. Unlike conventional batteries which store energy in solid electrodes, flow batteries store chemical energy in liquid electrolytes which are kept in tanks outside the cells. This stored energy is converted into an electric current in a power module which is a stack of electrochemical cells. This design allows flow batteries to have long lifetimes and low cost. The most common type of flow battery is the redox flow battery. They are based on the reduction oxidation reaction between the two electrolytes. Redox flow battery contains two large tanks that hold liquid electrolytes one positive and the other negative. Each electrolyte contains dissolved electroactive materials that electrochemically react to release or store electrons. Pumps are used to circulate the two electrolytes through separate carbon felt electrodes that provide abundant surfaces on which the active species can react. The electrodes are separated by an ion exchange membrane that allows only ions to pass through it and prevent direct contact between the electrodes. During discharge, electroactive elements on the negative side oxidize, releasing electrons that flow through an external circuit to the positive side. The flow of electrons through external circuit produces electricity. In addition to the movement of electrons, there are ions, other charged species in the electrolyte that pass through the membrane to help complete the reaction and keep the system electrically neutral. At the positive side, the electroactive species gain the electrons to undergo reduction reaction. On the contrary, when charging, oxidation reactions take place on the positive electrode and reduction reactions on the negative electrode. Flow batteries separate the energy storage medium and energy conversion. Electrolytes are stored externally in tanks while the electrochemical cell handles energy conversion. If you want to store more energy, you just make the electrolyte tanks bigger. If you want more power, you only have to increase the number of cells or stack size. Due to this, flow batteries offer a greater flexibility to independently tailor power and energy ratings for a given application. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do like, share and subscribe to Owlwiz. Also press bell icon to get notified.